Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you're new, my name is Danny and my channel name is Routine Beauty. I create content on all things green beauty. So if you like that kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss it when I post new videos. So obviously by the title, today I am doing a fall makeup look using the new Ilia The Necessary Palette. I have it in the warm nude version. They have two versions warm nude and the cool nude so this one is the warm nude so both of these palettes are really great for fall it is their fall launch alrighty so I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about this palette first so this is what the palette looks like it's super pretty super gorgeous shades for the fall this is a $38 eyeshadow palette it is a cleanly formulated eyeshadow palette that is buildable and highly pigmented this palette has an assortment of matte, satin, and metallic finishes. Um, some of the ingredient callouts is that this product is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. And um, what else you need to know? It says our six-pan talc-free and cleanly formulated eyeshadow palettes have a buttery texture that allows for smooth application. These buildable formulas are highly pigmented and are easy to blend with little fallout. So these have great ingredients in it and I definitely agree that these are really nicely pigmented and they also blend super well and I do agree that there isn't a lot of fallout once you apply it to the brush. Like any eyeshadow there is a little bit of fallout but I don't think that there is a super lot of fallout. I think that it's great to work with these, super easy to work with these and it just and you can just create a lot of really pretty and fun eyeshadow looks with this palette. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, please keep watching. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my skin. And I'm going to be using the Juice Beauty Phyto Pigments Illuminating Primer. I did mention this in a recent video. I did a collaboration video with Alexa Blake where we both did everyday makeup using our favorite Clean Beauty makeup products. I'll have that linked below if you want to check that out. Um, but I mentioned this primer as one of my favorites because I have really been enjoying it. I don't think that you have to have a primer. Um, to do a nice makeup look. I, sometimes primers can help your makeup last a little bit longer. I don't necessarily think that this one does help my makeup to, to last longer, but I really like how it makes the skin look. It does help to add some hydration, and then it also gives the skin some luminosity and just helps bring it to life a little bit. So that's why I really like this. So you can totally skip a primer or you can use a different one, um, whatever works. That I just really like how this makes the skin look I hope you can see the difference as I'm applying it. You can just really see that it gives some nice luminosity to the skin and it just makes the skin look a bit more healthy, in my opinion. It's just, I think it's a really pretty product. Alrighty, so now for foundation, I am going to be using the Jane Iredale Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream. So even though this is a BB cream, which a lot of times the BB creams aren't really that full coverage, but this BB cream gives really good coverage. So full coverage in the name here, I feel like is quite accurate. So I really like this. It's really pretty. I feel like it gives, it gives great coverage and also looks really nice on the skin. And I like applying this with a sponge. However, I do think that this would look nice with a brush as well. But in general, I normally do like to use sponges, unless of course I'm using a powder foundation. Um, but in general, when I'm using liquid or cream foundations, I do like using sponges just because I feel like they help to give the most natural look to the skin. It helps the skin look the most skin-like that way. So that's what I'm gonna use today. I'm using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I really like this. It's way more affordable than, for example, the Beauty Blender, which is $20. I believe this is like $5 or something like that. But you can also get like a pack of like four of these for like $20. And you can also find discounts on, on places where they sell this, like Ulta, you know, you can get discounts on them. Um, a lot of the times they have 20% off coupons, so you can get this sponge for even cheaper. So I hope you can see the nice coverage that this is giving. It's covering up my redness and it's also, co I forgot concealer. I did this in the last video too. Alright, well, I messed up. I forgot to do concealer before the foundation. 
um, but I'm still gonna do it. I normally like to put concealer on before I do foundation. I just feel like it helps to make it look more seamless, but I'm still gonna go ahead and use the concealer that I wanna use, and that is the Fit Glow Beauty Conceal Plus. I have it in the shade C3. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this under my eyes. This gives a really nice coverage. Um, but I only put a little bit under my eyes because I feel like that makes it look the most natural. I don't like to put a whole lot. And then I also am going to spot conceal some of the blemishes that I have. And then I'm just going to blend it out, of course, of course, with a sponge. But if I want to get even more coverage, I might use a brush, but I'm going to use a sponge today. base so now I'm going to apply a setting powder and a setting powder that I have been enjoying is the RMS Beauty this is the unpowder and this is the translucent version they have a tinted version I have the translucent version here and I've been liking this I haven't used it a whole lot yet but from what I have used I am really enjoying it I do find that it's pretty messy I think I actually broke it when I first opened it I don't know if it was supposed to come apart that easily but I actually like picked up the inside of it somehow and some of the product fell out it's very disappointing because this isn't the cheapest powder and I lost some product I was able to save most of the product I'm just gonna take a very little amount and then I'm just gonna take this somewhat dense brush but it still has some give to it and just apply it all over my face curious this this powder only has two ingredients it has silica and mica so if you're looking for a powder or just a translucent powder that doesn't have many ingredients this, this is definitely a good one to check out and so far I've really been liking it I feel like it does a really nice job and I feel like it does look really pretty on the skin it helps to set the skin and also just makes your skin look nice like almost like velvety um, but it just looks really pretty. I really enjoy it so far. I'm definitely excited to keep using it. I'm curious if any of you have tried it. I'd love to know what you think about it. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments. Next I'm going to do bronzer. And I'm going to be using the Lila B bronzer. I also used this in the collaboration video um, where we talked about our favorites. I really enjoy this bronzer it's super pretty it's definitely a more luxurious bronzer but if you are wanting to kind of treat yourself and splurge a little on a makeup product I definitely think that this is one worth splurging on I think that it's just absolutely gorgeous and the packaging is gorgeous it has a nice weight to it, it just feels really nice and luxurious A blush and one that I've been really enjoying this was also in the favorites video this is the Lila B divine duo lip and cheek it's in the shade be lovely it's a really gorgeous beige nude type of shade and I think that this shade is just perfect for fall so gorgeous it's great for any time of the year but it's super pretty and I'm gonna be using this on my cheeks as well as my lips today and even and I actually think that this looks quite nice even on top of powder it's really pretty at that isn't that just like a gorgeous shade for fall I think it's just perfect for fall and I also like to use this on my eyelids too but of course I'm going to be using the Ilia Beauty the necessary palette in warm and nude so I'm not gonna be putting this on my eyes today I'm just gonna be using this on my cheeks and my lips I haven't used this on my lips before so I'm excited to try this out I think it's gonna look really pretty and I think just having the cheeks and the lips match is gonna look really nice Okay, it looks a little bit aggressive right now, but I'm just going to keep blending it out. And Alright, so we've got the cheeks done, and now I'm going to apply this same product to the lips. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some highlighter, and for highlighter I'm going to use the Ilia Beauty. This is their Liquid Light Serum Highlighter, and I have the shade Nova. It's a really nice champagne type of highlighter. I feel like a champagne highlighter 
or like a gold highlighter it would just be really nice for fall but I've really been liking this highlighter by Ilia Beauty. I also have the shade Atomic, which is more like a pink type of color. And I really like it. I think it's super pretty. And these also blend into the skin really, really nicely. I'm just going to apply this to the high points of the cheeks. And then I'm also going to apply some to the brow bone. A little bit on my nose time for the eyebrows and for eyebrows I am using the 100% pure long last brows in the shade taupe this is a brow pomade if you're switching from conventional beauty and going to clean beauty I think that this is a great way to transition if you're used to using a pomade when I was using conventional beauty I didn't really use eyebrow pomades I use eyebrow pencils this was a bit of a change for me to try this one out but I really like it I feel like the shade taupe is the perfect color for my eyebrows and I find it's pretty easy to work with I feel like it is a little bit more tedious than using an eyebrow pencil um, so I definitely want to try out more clean beauty eyebrow pencils if you guys have any recommendations definitely let me know because um, I'm always open to trying some new makeup products um, but I haven't found a eyebrow pencil in the clean beauty world that I really like. I've only tried one. It's the Lily Lolo eyebrow pencil. I like it, but it's not very precise. So that one is definitely a thicker pencil. So it is um, a little bit harder to control. And so definitely leave me your recommendations if you have any clean beauty eyebrow pencils that you guys really like. So Time to try out this eyeshadow palette. To start off, I'm gonna take this light brown shade. What is that one called? It's called Grace. And I'm gonna use that just all over my lid to kind of create an even base. And I'm just taking this fluffy crease brush and I'm just gonna apply it all over the lid. So I'm just taking that all over the lid just to create a nice even base and then kind of blending it into the crease. So now I'm going to go into this dark brown shade and this is called Hunter. And I'm gonna put this on the outer part of the crease and just do it very lightly. And I'm just gonna blend it into the outer part of the crease. of taking it taking what is left over on the brush and just kind of taking this onto the rest of the crease I'm gonna take this burgundy type of shade right here it's called a line up and I'm just gonna put this right on the outer part of the eye the outer V you can see that and I'm going to kind of just dab it on the outer part and then blend it into the crease. Now I'm going to take this muted orange shade which is called Unite and I'm just gonna apply this to the crease kind of help blend everything together but also add another color because I do want to try to use um, most of these shades if not all of them for this eyeshadow look so, just so you guys can really see how this palette works and all the colors that are in this palette now I am going to apply the orange shade called unite to the lower lash line. I'm just going to apply this to the outer part of the lower lash line. I'm not gonna bring it all the way in. So I'm just putting it on this outer part of the lash line. I'm going to take this bronzy type of shade, which is called 1979. And I'm just gonna apply it to the outer V, like the outer part of the lid. Just packing it on to this outer part of the lid. I'm also going to apply it to the inner V. I'm just leaving the middle 
open. I'm just kind of blending it upwards. Now I'm going to use this pretty champagne type of color here called Cocoon, and I'm gonna put this on the middle of the lid. Now I want to add a little bit more to the lower lash line, and I'm going to take this small brush, and I'm actually gonna take the burgundy color again, which is called a Lineup, and I'm gonna apply this to the middle part of the lower lash line. this same brush but I want to get that color off first and I'm gonna use the shade cocoon again and I'm gonna use this to highlight the inner corners I get onto the inner part of the lower lash line Now I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put on mascara for an eyelash curler I'm using the plume eyelash curler and then for mascara I am using the Lily Lolo natural vegan mascara people really like this mascara but I don't know what it is about this mascara and my eyelashes but it doesn't seem to want to hold the curl I'll curl my eyelashes and then I'll apply this and then my eyelashes kind of like go straight out so it kind of gets rid of the curl which is really disappointing because it looks like a really nice mascara and I know that a lot of people really like it so if it weren't for that I think that I would like this a little bit more um, but it lasts really nicely and I find that it doesn't smudge super easily so that's really nice but it doesn't want to maintain the curl, which really stinks. So I'm going to let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to curl them again and see if I can get my eyelashes to curl again. Lastly, to set the makeup, I'm going to use the Lily Lolo Makeup Mist and just set this makeup look. This is the finished makeup look. I think that this look is so great for the fall. And overall, I think that this eyeshadow palette is amazing. The colors blend really well and they're super easy to work with. So I definitely think that it is worth picking up.